caregiver stress and the pandemic. Caregivers provide a silent support system in the United States, largely unpaid. They handle anything from financial support and care to administering medications. According to a Blue Cross Blue Shield study on caregivers, there are 6.7 million Americans providing care to spouses, children, parents, and other loved ones. Those that provide care experience a 26% higher health, health risk than those in the benchmark population, a situation that has been exasperated by the pandemic. Since the pandemic started, self-reported stress, isolation, and loneliness has increased. The study found that one in four unpaid caregivers are feeling more stress trying to balance work and family as a result of COVID-19. Overall, 57% of caregivers reported experiencing significant levels of stress, anxiety, or depression. Caregiving, caregiving often starts with something minor. The caregiver picks up some groceries for someone else, or they provide a ride to a doctor, maybe remind someone about medication, then it snowballs and the caregiver modifies their work situation, their home life, or their schedule. This isn't to say that those things are bad, but until you recognize that the things you do are caregiving, you're unlikely to start addressing your need for resources or support. When you realize that enormous amounts of commitment are needed, on average, caregivers provide 24 hours of care per week balanced with trying to have a work or home life. It's easy to see how caregiving can impact the life of the caregiver. A strange paradox exists between caregivers and health. Caregiving can lead to poor health for many of the reasons listed above, and yet caregivers have a higher rate of preventative care. What the authors of most studies mean though, is that caregivers are more likely to get a breast exam or see a doctor once a year than their non-caregiving counterparts, perhaps because they are already making those trips for someone else. What the caregiver needs to remember is that just as while what the caregiver needs to remember is that just as while you are on a plane and you are going over how to use an oxygen mask, the first and most important step is to put your own mask on first. Here are some important steps for reducing caregiver stress. Taking care of loved ones for an extended period of time due to long-term illness can cause chronic stress that resembles PTSD. Taking care of them means taking care of yourself. yourself. Number one, eat a well-balanced balanced diet and get enough sleep. Number two, Take care of yourself physically. Get out for a walk if you can. Exercise and stretch your muscles. Number three, laugh, enjoy a joke. Spend time with someone that makes you happy and relax for a few minutes every day. Four, let others help. This is important, it benefits everyone. Five, it's okay to cry. Six, listen to music. Seven, Give yourself a treat every once in a while. Number eight, learn meditation, yoga, or other relaxation techniques. Number, number nine, learn to say no and mean it. And step number 10, explore the community resources available through Compass and Clock.